Good morning. It was so warm yesterday. We broke records in the valley. Here's a look at our highs from yesterday. Look how fantastic it was. 60s for so many of us in the Southern Valley, even up to Grand Forks. We broke a daily record high there. Fargo at 66 was a record high. Jamestown, 68 degrees. And out west, Bismarck, Williston, uh, those areas also broke high temperatures uh, records there. So it was so warm just across the Dakota, uh, Dakotas and into Minnesota, but especially again in the valley, we saw those temperatures in southeastern North Dakota where uh, they were warmest. But even over toward Fergus Falls, 63 degrees. And up north, not quite as warm, but 40s will take it. It's been a little bit colder there recently. So 46 degrees, you're high in Roseau and 48 in Langdon. A beautiful day on top of being a warm day. And we're starting off our morning very mild with clear skies. Even though we have clear skies, we typically expect to see our temperatures to really start to drop. But with that warm air in place, it just isn't happening here. We've got 32 degrees in Fargo, 31 in Grand Forks, 27 in Bemidji, 30 in Devil's Lake. And it's 32 degrees in Oaks right now, 37 in Fergus Falls. It's the big warm spot. This is basically our average high temperature this time of year, give or take a couple of degrees. So we're starting off there uh, at the 4 o'clock hour here. We're doing very good as far as temperatures are concerned. A quarter mile visibility, though, in Wadena. We have slightly cool air moving in. That's causing some of this air to uh, the water vapor in the air to condense into low level clouds or fog. Uh, and so we're starting to see that visibility come down in some places. Wadena's the worst off, but there may be some other spots that are getting some dense fog starting to develop or has already developed here. Uh, looking at our wind, we've got wind that's switching to a more easterly direction. Uh, there are some still some places that have a northerly wind, but all of us will eventually see this switch to east. And wind is anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour, generally speaking. Not much to show you on the radar. Still looking for some rain in the tri-state area, at least. You have to look all the way out to east eastern parts of Montana here where we've got some rain showers uh, pushing east that will eventually that system will eventually be working its way into the valley later tonight. Some snow showers in upstate New York, some rain over by St. Louis today. Uh, looking rather quiet down in the extreme southeast, but we may see some rain showers in uh, parts of the south. And then looking over toward the west, some rain in California and snow in the upper elevations of the Sierra Nevadas. So here's a look at our uh, forecast for today. We've got mostly clear skies to start off and we'll continue to be on the mild side here by 9 a.m. A lot of us waking up to some sunshine. Some clouds do roll through, some partly cloudy skies from time to time. Uh, we may see a little bit more cloudy than sunny. And then for the noon hour, temperature is back into the 50s in the south, some 30s to 40s north. And we all continue to see those temperatures rise a few degrees cooler than yesterday, maybe about five degrees or so colder than yesterday, uh, but not bad. Mostly cloudy by the afternoon. We'll see those temperatures in the upper 50s in the south, low 50s maybe even, or low 60s rather, by uh, the North Dakota, South Dakota line and into west central Minnesota and up north into the low 40s. Then, of course, the clouds are taking over and we have a chance for some rain showers and we can't rule out a rumble of thunder or two tonight. In addition to that, the wind does pick up. We see wind speeds gusting into the 20s to near 30 miles per hour today. So here's a look at our planner. For the next couple of days, we've got some changes on the way today. We should still be very mild, just slightly cooler than yesterday. We'll get mostly sunny skies this morning, see a few clouds this afternoon, and then that chance for rain late or maybe even a thunder shower or two. Tuesday, some snow showers, or rain showers rather, I'm used to saying snow, uh, for your Tuesday with breezy conditions. And because of that, because of the clouds and the rain, we're going to be a little colder, 44 degrees. And staying in the 40s for Wednesday, then we warm right back up into Friday and this weekend. And when your average high temperatures are in the low 30s, and you see our seven-day planner, our lowest temperature is 44 degrees you know we're doing pretty well as far as temperatures are concerned. Also next weekend, reminder, we do have daylight saving time. Another sign of spring. I love it. Thank you, Lisa. It's more than two months out now from a lot of people's New Year's resolutions, and some people might need a little help getting back on track. The Valley Today's Christy Larson is up next with our Motivational Monday.